Bev, I just want to say thank you so much for opening up these uh, airways for us to just share because somebody that is hurting, that's been hurting a long time, that's just been talking about their story. Well, as, as um, Teresa just said, you know, really and truly, you have to make a decision that you want to be free. We have to stop rehearsing our story and decide I'm going to reverse my story. We have to decide that I'm not going to stop rehearsing my pain, but today I want to reverse my yes. pain. So that's what surgery for the soul really is. And I tell people uh, a, a seven letter word has the power to really set us free. Seven letters. I think it's the best word on the planet. I say, I tell people, I can't help it. Everywhere I go, the F word comes out of me. But the F word that I'm talking about is F O R. G-I-V-E. When you choose to forgive, you choose to be free. That's all we want. We want people to take advantage of the opportunity to get free. So I am so thankful for you and thank you for uh, Cynthia and Teresa also joining me today and be a part of this. And again, it's all about taking one day and investing in yourself. It's already paid for. All you have to do is show up and take advantage of going through a surgery that can catapult the rest of your life. That's the power of a decision. One decision can change the course of our life. We can decide I'm going to sit on my pain. I'm going to sit on my hurt or I'm going to get up and I'm going to go and I'm going to get the healing and I'm going to allow somebody who has the skill, the gifting, the anointing and the passion to walk me through to that place called Mercy Hospital because there is mercy to meet us. Whether we need to forgive be forgiven, need to let go, or, or, or what? What we are grateful for is that it will be a day, because people tell us to forgive, Bev, but they don't tell us how. Mm. That's what I love about Surgery for the Soul, is that people get to learn the how. How do I do this? And then they get to experience it. And so it's not just coming to something that will be a conference. You get to take a bunch of notes. No, you're coming to surgery. You're coming to surgery. So if you're really, really real and you want to heal, there's healing available for us. So I'm so grateful and I'm, I'm thankful uh, to have the opportunity to come on today. And I just pray that somebody who's listening has made up your mind and said, you know what? She's talking to me and you know what? I want to be free. Mm -hmm. And so I'm coming. I'm going to register and I'm going to be there. And so if that's you, go to brownbaptist.org and click on and fill out the button and register and do this for yourself because you know what Bev we need to do it not only for ourselves need to do it for our family need to do it for our children need to do it for the community so maybe that will stop some of the craziness yes. that we're having in the city if we just have a day where people can come and deal with their stuff and deal with it in a way that can allow them to experience real healing and you can get healed in one day you can be delivered in one day. You can be set free if you're really, really ready. And so be healed. Be real. Let's heal. Don't judge. Can't judge. I'm Dr. B. I'm so grateful to have had this time to share. <laughs> Search for the I love soul. That. <laughs> yes, yes. I love it. Yes. Dr. Brenda Caldwell is here. Thank you, Miss Teresa Cooper. Love your You're story. Welcome. Thank you, thank yes, you, thank yes. you. Miss Cynthia Richmond, thank yes. you. You're welcome. 